In today's video, I will show you how you can generate 2D style Ghibli animation video from a script with this N8N automation that is right in front of me. I will show you each node step by step and each API that you need to integrate in order to get the output from this AI automation. Now, let's jump right into it right here. So. Uh, as you can see, we have in front of us the entire automation. It's been split in four different sections. We have getting idea, voice generation and upload, image upload, and then video generation, which is the final um, for this particular automation. Now, after you generate this, this is what you're going to get. So you're going to get an hey there. 2D animation style in Ghibli style, as you can see. And this is how it's going to sound and look like. Welcome to the Thought Bench. Where ideas meet the mic and curiosity takes the lead. I'm Tim, and every week we sit down to explore stories, spark inspiration, and dive into the minds behind the magic. So as you can see, this is how it's going to look like. So yeah, let's get right into it. So if you want this entire template and if you want to download it instantly without watching this entire tutorial, you can go into our premium group where we are posting these type of templates every single day and every single week. So uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So first of all, we have a um, test workflow, which is always going to be the first part of the workflow. Um, so you just want to go and uh, just add a test workflow node. Right now, we already have that node right in here. Um, the second node is going to be a Google Sheet node. So uh, a Google Sheet node is going to be get rows. So you can simply go to Google Sheet and you can go with uh, get rows. Um, so this is the one that you want to get uh, and uh, you simply want to add your account. You want to sign in with Google. It's very simple, very, you know, uh, self-explanatory. Uh, after that, what you want to do is you want to get rows and you want to uh, go in here. And this is actually the, um, the Google sheet that we're going to use. So we have image URL. Uh, the image URL is going to be this URL, as you can see. So this is an image that we're going to be generating manually in ChatGPT. So you actually want to generate this manually in ChatGPT beforehand. And we're doing this because there is no capabilities right now, uh, or as of right now, to do this automatically in N8N. So we want to do this right now in um, with ChatGPT uh, manually. And I just manually did this image. I uploaded it to my uh, storage in Google uh, APIs. You can also use Google Drive for this as well. And I edited it right here. Now you cannot see it because after uh, the output is generated, uh, you won't be able to see it anymore. But it's right here, right? And that's what we have right here. So um, obviously we're doing document Ghibli uh, sheet, sheet one. And then the column is output because we want to um, add the final file into the output, right? So, and then here we want to add combine filters and make sure end is right here. This is what the output should look like. You should have an empty uh, output file and everything should be stored like that. So as you can see, the image URL should be the image URL right here, as you can see right or as you cannot see because there is no image url but it's going to be this image url so just make sure you enter this in here so at the start you will have image url script and then no output yet um and that's how it's going to look like now from there we're going to the voice generation and upload so <clears throat> you want to add an http request node so this is how it's going to look like http request and by the way, all of these nodes are HTTP request nodes, just so you know, so you can follow this tutorial along. So the first HTTP request node is generating a voice for our character based on a script in Google Sheets. So as you can see, we have a script right here in Google Sheets. And we're going to use the post method and we're going to authenticate this with 11 labs. So you want to go to 11 labs and you want to sign up for their API. So essentially how that looks like is if I go here, 11 labs API, <clears throat> and if I go to the uh, app or let me just go here, quick start. 
Uh, and as you can see here, you can create an API key in the dashboard. And this is how it's going to look like 11labs.io slash app slash setting slash API keys. And in here, you can create an API key. After you create an API key, you simply want to go to an authentication, click generic credential type, header auth. So it needs to be header auth. And then you need to go here and add the name to be XI API key and then just put the API key in here. That's what you want to do. Keep in mind here in the um, in the 11 labs um, documents or documentation, API documentation, you will be able to see as well some other things that you can use throughout this tutorial. But let me actually go here and just paste that in. From there, you want to add the URL to be uh, a text-to-speech URL. Now keep in mind, this is the URL that we're going to use. So we have version one of the API, it's text-to-speech, and then this is the URL that we're going to use. Uh, the URL that we're going to use in here, or the part of the URL, is a voice ID. Uh, this will depend what type of voice you want to use from 11 Labs. Keep in mind, 11 Labs has 10,000 free uh, API credits, so you can use pretty much any voice you want. However, if you want to uh, go and if you want to check which voice you want to use and what is the voice ID, you can go to text to speech here. You click on the voice and you want to copy the voice ID. After you copy the voice ID, you just simply paste it in here. So instead of this voice, you will have that voice, which is right now Adnan. So yeah, uh, you can do that. Um, and then you want to simply send body. Um, JSON, body content type, and specif specify body, it needs to be using JSON. And then in here, as you can see, you have text and you have model ID. So um, just want to click on here to kind of explain. This is the script, so it's actually this one. Uh, and you just want to drag and drop this in here. So text is script, model ID, this is just the API model ID, which is going to be version 2 of 11 labs uh, multilingual model. So from there, you should get a binary file like this, which is a voice file. So if you click view here. Hey there, and welcome to the Thought Bash. As you can see, this is what you wanna get. So if you're getting this, you're on the right track, right? We're going to the next HTTP node, which, okay, we generated the voice, now we need to upload the voice. So we go to the next, uh, Again, HTTP node, we go with a post method again. And with this, within this, what we're going to use is we're going to use Hedra. Hedra AI is a platform where we're going to upload both of our videos, uh, both of our voices and uh, images uh, or image and voice. Uh, and for Hedra AI, what you want to do is you want to uh, go to hedra.com slash API profile. And in here, you want to generate an API key. You want to accept their terms of service. And you want to at least add $10 of credits so you can test this out because this will cost some money. Um, each generation does cost some money. Uh, but again, you can copy the API key here. And again, we get, we're get we getting with generic credential type, header auth, and then Hedra. We're going to use X API key. So it's similar to 11 labs, but... Uh, uppercase letters, right? Uh, and then you want to also make sure that the value is your API key. Uh, and again, the API key is here, so you just copy it right here and you simply go here and paste it. Okay, after you uh, authorize this, then it's time to actually go here and add this endpoint. So what this endpoint URL is, is basically calling the version one of Hedra API to use our audio or to save our audio uh, file from the previous node, which is an uh, 11 labs audio file. And this is what you're going to get. Keep in mind one, one really important thing is you need to send body and it needs to be form data and a 10 binary file and the name needs to be file and the input data needs to be data. And you simply want to put this because these are the binary files. And, you know, binary files are usually, you know, uh, images, uh, voices, you know, stuff like that. So this is a very important step, okay? From there, uh, we 
get the idea, we get the voice generation and upload. We want to upload an image, which is this image right here. We want to upload it to Hedra as well. So what we're doing, we're uploading the voice, we're uploading the image. Based on that, Hedra will give us the video. So another HTTP request note here. And we want to actually get image from link. And we're getting image from link. And the link is this right here, as you can see. So uh, this is the entire link, right? And it's actually this um, JSON snippet right here, as you can see. Get idea from sheet. This is actually from the uh, image URL right here. So you just want to copy that. And keep in mind, this will work if you want to copy this entire workflow. It will only work if you uh, name these HTTP request nodes uh, like I did. So if you don't want to go to our premium group for the template, you can actually name uh, these uh, HTTP request nodes how I name them. So get image from link, get generate voice, upload voice, get idea from sheet, right? So everything needs to be coherent. Okay, so in here, what you want to do is you want to just add this get and that's it. This will simply get the image URL, which is, as you can see, if you click view, this image right here, which is this image right here. Okay. So from there we have, uh, we need to, we get the image, but then we need to upload the image into Hedra. So we're uploading an image with a post method because we're posting it to Hedra. And this is what we want to do. We want to uh, add portrait at the end of our Hedra endpoint because we're sending portrait or image to Hedra, right? So obviously from there, you will need to add Hedra again, uh, header auth, generic auth type authentication. This needs to be the same for the next couple of nodes until the end. Uh, and keep in mind, if you want to um, make sure this stays like this, just simply go and uh, duplicate, duplicate the uh, HTTP node and then just change what I'm about to uh, show you. So in this, this needs to be it. Um, again, form data is NA10 binary file, uh, name is file and the input data field name is data. This is again, just because it's a binary file. Um, okay, from there, we done the idea, we done the voice generation and upload, we done the image upload. Now we need to go to the fun part, which is video generation. So uh, again, another uh, HTTP request node, initialize video generation. So uh, with this node, we're just going to initialize the video generation and make sure we're getting the job ID. Job ID is ID of that specific generation. It's still not ready video. So yeah, just be patient a little bit more. Uh, but here we are using the post method and we're using the characters because we want to uh, be able to initialize video generation based on the character that we have, which is this right here. Okay, so from there, uh, again, authentication, generic authentication type and header auth are all the same always because we're using still Hedra API. We only used 11 Labs API at the start. Then we have send body. And it needs to be JSON, using JSON. And now this is the part that you want to just copy and paste. Uh, but the text is going to be the text from the sheet. So this one script. The voice ID is going to be the voice ID from the 11 labs. The voice URL is going to be the voice URL, which is from the uh, voice right here, as you can see. And then the avatar image is just the URL, which is this right here, which is from this right here, get image from link URL. And then you can obviously change the aspect ratio to be 16 by nine if you want. Um, one by one is simply the best for this type of videos. Um, then obviously audio source will be text to speech. That's the audio source. Uh, and then we are pretty much finished for this node. Uh, but again, keep in mind, we're only getting a job ID for this. It is generating, but it's not yet the final video. So from there, we're adding a wait node. Uh, why? Because we need to wait at least three to four minutes until the generation is done. So you want to click on wait node and it's three minutes right here. And once that is done, um, then it will go to the next node, which is get video node, another HTTP request node, a lot of HTTP request nodes. 
uh, as you can see. But if we go here, this is the final HTTP request node before sending the data to Google Spreadsheet. Um, but we have a get method because we want to get the video and we want to use this endpoint right here. Uh, now, why this endpoint? We're using the V1 uh, API. Projects is a folder inside Hedra where all the projects are saved. And then we're looking specifically for a job ID, which is going from this particular job ID, right? When we know the job ID, we can get the video from Hedra. So we're going to here and that's what you want to do. You want to make sure it's get, you want to make sure this is all good. And that's pretty much it for, for this particular node. From there, you simply want to paste the final video URL in Sheet. So again, you're going to use Google Sheet node. Uh, it's going to be Sheets within document and update row. This is very important. It needs to update the row because we want to make sure it's updating this row right here. Okay. Again, the Sheet is going to be Ghibli because that's the name of the Sheet and Sheet 1. And then map each column manually and it needs to be row number here. So you just click on row number. And uh, here you need to add, get the idea from the sheet, JSON row number. So this is actually the row number from the, here, row number two, right? Um, that's, that's what we have. And then we also have the output to be video URL. And this is the video URL, which is right here, as you can see. So you just drag and drop that in here. Script stays empty, image URL stays empty. Um, the image URL can also stay the same. So you can also go and just paste the image URL as it is, but you don't actually have to do that. So yeah, and that's pretty much it. After that is completely done, uh, you can test the workflow and if everything is working fine, you will get this type of output. Now, how can you download this? You simply copy this. You go into new tab, you paste it, hit enter. And if you're getting something like this, uh, then what you want to do is you want to go to NA10, sometimes that happens, and just copy this right here, right? Or just go to the table and copy this right here without any spaces because sometimes spaces happen. And then you will be able to download it. Right now, I cannot download it because I already downloaded it. I think it's the XML file does not appear to have any style or information, but I actually downloaded this a while back and it did work. So, uh, yeah, and then, you know, you just download this and uh, yeah, that will work pretty much well for you. So if I go here, let me just go and let me test this out. Yeah, so right now, for some odd reason, it's not working, but yeah, you just want to go here and download this. And then once you download this, you will save this uh, as a file, as you can see right here. So let me just go uh, right here. Yeah. And you can just simply play it. Hey there, and welcome to the Thought Fetch, where ideas meet the mic and curiosity takes the lead. So as you can see, that's pretty much it, right? That's how you can create a Ghibli style 2D animation, um, or actually in this case, automation slash animation. Uh, but yeah, if you want this and uh, more um, of these AI agent templates and these faceless templates and like social media templates as well, you can check our premium um, school community. Uh, we're just starting out and we are getting with more courses, more AI agent templates and more information to help you join the AI revolution. So if you're new to AI, if you want to learn, even if you're, you know, not new to AI, maybe you're already learning for some time, you can simply join our community and you would be able to learn even more, even faster. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you find it useful. And yeah, we'll see you in the next one. Until then, have a great day. Bye-bye.